Hi, welcome to Ted's Modeling Technique. Today what I want to show you is how um, I drill holes into a round frame member like this uh, funny car frame. What I want to do is I want to add some holes in the front up here because when I put my calipers on or the uh, brake uh, discs and calipers I'm going to have a brake line coming over here but it's difficult to drill into this because you're rolling off to the side when I want uh, something that I can drill straight through there and make it uh, nice and clean. Uh, what I already have is a couple of, um, if you can see these, I've got a couple of globbed on glued uh, little studs that I'm going to be mounting some hoses coming up into the engine and I don't really care how that looks because the hose is going to cover that little glob of glue. It just isn't nice for something that's going to be showing like these fittings are. So what I do is I make a little jig to uh, drill down through there properly. Uh, for this uh, particular size, what I'm using is this Evergreen number 167. This is the shape of it here. It's a little rectangular piece. And uh, I'll use this uh, for this uh, particular size frame. Uh, basically, I'm going to cut this uh, uh, two small pieces off and I'm going to uh, drill down between them so when I pull these back apart I'm going to have a channel down the middle of that that I'll place over this frame and um, that gives me something to drill through to keep it uh, uh, sturdy. So what I've got is I've got um, two pieces for this, this particular size. Um, I'm just going with about a half inch is what this is and I kind of found by mistake if I saw this at a slight angle, you can see that, a slight angle, um, then uh, when I put these together, it gives me a, a better way to find the center to drill down through. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I take these two pieces, take these two pieces, put them together, and uh, what I was saying about the, um, the way they, uh, let's see if I can do it here. If you can see this, as I've uh, cut those two at an angle, when I put these together, see I'm going to drill right down through that. That gives me a, a, a good place to, uh, to drill without having to wobble all over the place. And uh, what I've done, I've already got this mocked up here. Uh, this is the same, you know, same idea, two pieces. And uh, I just use this little vice grip to hold these together because I don't want these moving around when I'm drilling. And I don't care if I've got uh, you know, teeth marks on the outside here. because This is essentially a tool and it's not going to be used for anything else. So um, uh, once, once I get my pieces ready, I need to know what size drill to put down through there. Now if I take my funny car frame here and I use my micrometer, this happens to be a dial micrometer, they make less expensive, and this isn't too bad, I don't really remember what I paid for this, it's been a while. They make uh, less expensive ones, but they're not very accurate um, as far as trying to read on there. Is it in between the two lines or not? This is really easy to see. And what I've got here, this happens to be, and this is measured in, in 60 fourths of an inch. I've got four 60 fourths, which equals 1 16th of an inch, which is a number 50 drill bit. So I'll take a number 50 drill bit, which I have here, and my two pieces that I've put together, and with that little V notch in there, like I said, it gives me an easy way to uh, drill down in there. Now this one I've already drilled, but uh, the idea is you just take this and you just drill all the way through. You want to go absolutely all the way through uh, this in order to uh, make a decent fit on the frame. And then when you're done, you've got two pieces that look like this. You can see that they're you can see that they're uh, kind of cut out in the center. Now this one happened to have, uh, you know, uh, the drill wasn't going exactly straight through so this side you can see didn't quite uh, uh, turn out as well as the other side. So I, I probably won't use this but uh, the idea is you could still as, as long as you've got enough meat there to put it over your frame. So now I've got this uh, piece that I'm ready to use but I need to drill a hole through here in order to use it on my frame. And um, I've got a number uh, 76 drill bit because uh, this happens to be the size that I'm going to use for the brake line fitting that's going in there. So I want to drill now through this piece and I don't want to drill through the top where it's flat 
because you know it's hard to tell where the center is of this channel that's underneath. So as long as, as uh, you put your drill down here, you're going to hit the, the, the center of that just because it's curved and you're going to hit the bottom of it so then you drill your hole through there. So now you've got your piece all ready to go. You you put this on your frame where you want your uh, hole to be. Take your drill now and you drill through this hole holding this piece on. You just drill through that right into your frame. No more wobbling around. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the, some pieces on here. I'll go ahead and glue up the caliper and the brake line and you'll see what I'm talking about. But that's all there is to it. This thing will sit on there and the reason it sits on there so well is because I picked the right drill uh, bit for the size of the frame. And uh, you can do this uh, you know, anywhere else on that frame. You know, If you want to uh, stick some pins in the back to uh, custom fabricate your own uh, roll cage or something, you know, uh, this can be done in any scale. It doesn't have to be 125th. So uh, I'm going to glue this up and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I've got the holes drilled. I've got the brakes on, the calipers, the discs, and the uh, uh, brake line itself. And um, you can see where I've got this one mounted right now. This one just kind of hanging loose. I haven't put it in just so I can show you, you know, what the difference is. Now it's hard to see those holes um, unless you're really close, but it'd be impossible to drill something like that just, you know, kind of freehand. So this uh, template or, or jig really comes in handy. Um, I just kind of set this engine in here so you get an idea of uh, the placement that I've got. And then also, if I turn this around, this little hose that I was talking about earlier uh, that I uh, set on a pin, uh, the pin actually happened to be, I think, part of a, uh, uh, a paper clip that I cut off. But these were glued on, and you can't really see the problem here because the glue is, a little glue mound is uh, hidden with that hose. You see I've got a little clamp on there I took from a little piece of... Uh, uh, metal and uh, formed it around that, but uh, that's the idea. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, let me know because uh, I need the feedback and I don't know whether you like it or not unless you like me on the uh, YouTube or uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can email me at tedsmodeling at gmail.com. Uh, I submitted this idea to Scale Model uh, Magazine in their um, tips uh, column but um, I, I don't know if they're going to publish that. Uh, plus, you know, it's so hard to describe this in words. It's uh, much easier, um, you know, to view this. So uh, to recap quickly, uh, you need uh, the plastic styrene that uh, you make this channel with. And um, uh, you want it wider than the frame rail you're working on. Uh, you want a drill bit to go through that, the same size as your uh, frame rail. And then you want to drill a hole through this, the size that you want the um, uh, fitting to go in, or whether maybe it's another piece of uh, roll bar or cage or something that you're attaching. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Um, once you slide that over, you use the hole that you've already drilled in your uh, template here uh, to guide yourself through the rail and it's uh, that easy. Again, uh, email me at tedsmodeling at gmail.com and uh, subscribe and uh, keep up with what I'm doing. Thank you. I appreciate it.